Hey y'all, it's Christy with Tea Dottles. It is time for day 11 of the Maker Advent Calendar. And our clue today is paint it, so I know y'all know what we're going to be doing. We're going to be painting something, so <laughs> it's no big secret. Uh, let me move this out of the way. We're going to paint this frame, uh, make it look like something more than bare wood. Um, so in day 11, you would have, you will get a paintbrush. Uh... It's not gonna focus on it. Is it? There's a paintbrush and a tube of paint. Yours is gonna be a brand new tube of paint versus the one I pulled from my stash, which has obviously been used. But you will receive paint in a blue or purple shade. Um, I, I told y'all that uh, this was a theme in this uh, uh, Maker Advent with the blue and purple. Um, it's one of my favorite color combinations. Um, but, so we're just going to paint this frame. That's what we're going to do. Um, you may want to put some paper t paper towels, newspaper down before you do this. Now, I'm just going to paint the top and probably the sides. I'm not going to paint the back. You can if you want, um, but I'm not going to do that. And also, y'all would have gotten, see these two little holes in the back? Y'all should have a little peg that came with your frame. And I forgot about that yesterday. But it's meant to... Uh, work like a stand if you want to set it up and that's what that peg is for okay um so this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna shake up my paint pretty good y'all might not need to be shook up too much because yours is brand new i want to make sure mine's going i'm just gonna squirt it onto my frame right like this because this is a smaller paintbrush i got some dry paint y'all shouldn't have that problem <laughs> This is a smaller paintbrush, so it's going to take a bit to cover this frame. But if you do it like that, you'll find you can cover it a little bit faster. So, uh, yeah. We're just going to paint it, paint it, paint it. And I'm probably going to fast forward through this part so y'all don't have to listen to me try to sing. Okay. Okay, y'all, you can see I got just a little bit too much down here. <laughs> and if that happens to y'all, just unscrew this. You just kind of 
scoop it off with the paintbrush. Y'all probably aren't as reckless with your paint as I am. My big issue is waiting on paint to dry. I'm just going to say it because I'm... I want to move on to the next step, but luckily, next step's not till tomorrow. Well, for y'all, so <laughs> you wouldn't have to wait. It, it, you gotta wait on the paint to dry, right? Because you don't know what you're gonna do till tomorrow, unless you couldn't wait and you just went ahead and opened up everything. But you know, that's something you can do if you want to. Just like I did on my advent calendar, I opened it up when I wanted to. My other one. All right, this is going to be kind of thirsty wood because it's bare wood. Um, so it shouldn't take too, too long to dry, but I'm going to go ahead and paint my sides because I don't really care if I get paint on me or my table because as you can see it's got lots of other paint on it already it is this is a big old drafting table I have that I uh, like a big old metal one I painted the top of it it needs to be redone again but I'll get to it one day one day it's a kind of a big job I want to I have plans to make over the whole thing it's kind of a big job because it's it's so heavy, and I'd have to do something where I could somehow paint it. Like I want to spray paint the base. You know, I got ridges all in my paint. I don't really care, but if y'all care about that, y'all just uh, smooth it out before it dries. Like I said, it's probably going to dry fairly quick because it's thirsty wood. It's thirsty wood. It's like, hey! I need some of that print. I'm very dry. <laughs> Y'all, I'm silly. I'm silly. I know sometimes. That's all right. Trying not to have to fast forward this part to it and look. I touched it with my finger. I can't imagine how that happened. I can't imagine how I did that. Can you all imagine how I could have done something like that? Because <laughs> I'm impatient. And I'll go ahead and do it. Paint's pretty forgiving most of the time, depending on what you're doing. Now, if I wanted a super smooth, clean finish, I would wait. But, little paint chips on it. Get off of there. Alright, now my frame is painted. It almost is the same color as my table. <laughs> so, now all you got left to do for this day is let your paint dry. Wash your paintbrush out, right? You could use that for something else. Mine's looking a little... Yeah. Anyway. So, we gotta let this dry real good and wash your paintbrush out. And I will see y'all tomorrow for step two. I'm not gonna do uh, anything in my junk journal today because I kind of want to work on it off camera a little bit while I'm off. So, I'll show it to y'all again and talk about what I did. Uh, so... And show y'all some things I did too. So, but for today, that's all I'm going to do. I will talk to y'all later. Bye. Or I will see y'all tomorrow for day 12. Which is rapid. Interesting, right? Can you guess what we're doing? Can you guess? Y'all let me know down in the comments. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Bye.